What's up, guys? Welcome back. All right. And from what I remember, yeah, that we for what we have to do, there it's it's gonna be a lot longer than thirty minutes. That's for sure. Barrowfield Farm is finally finished, Stitch! And the dike tree is bigger than ever. We can finally hold a harvest festival. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. It's alright with you if we start right away, isn't it? Yes, go for it. It's been a long road, but we finally made it. And it's all thanks to you, Stitch. Without your help, we would never have been able to grow the dye tree as big as we sh and strong as this. Thank you so much. And the islands are only going to get greener from here. We just thinking how bright and beautiful it'll be. It makes me so happy I could cry. I was thinking, Stitch. Once all of our work here is finished and Furrowfoot is back on track, do you think I could go back to your island with you? I've always dreamed of rebuilding the farm, and now that I have, I know I can't stop now. I want to spread the life and light to every corner of the world. But there'll be some time for all of that later. Right now, we've got a party to hold. Everyone, it's time for the Harvest Festival! Take the people of Harrowfield, take their holes and hands, and gather around the dietary to begin a long-awaited celebrations. <laughs> More food. Might as well grab all the... What do you think, Stitch? Isn't this the best harvest festival ever? I'm having so much fun. These pumpkin masks are absolutely hilarious. I'm having so much fun. But there's a deeper meaning to them. To, per to apparently... There's a deeper meaning to them. Two. Apparently they help you become better farmer by letting you experience things from the vegetable's perspective. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's nearly time for the main event. We're all going to gather around all the crops we've gathered, been growing after all. It wouldn't be a harvest festival without a harvest. And I expect you to join in too. We'll pick all the crops that are growing around the scarecrows, but if you're planning anything else, ever, elsewhere, anywhere else, or if you miss anything, I'm counting on you to collect it. Let's get to it, everyone. It's harvesting time. Locusts. Yeah. Hey, it's you! Hello again! Do you remember me? We made to the church. I heard the singing and shouting and just had to check for myself and you're holding a harvest festival, aren't you? Beautiful! Please let me join your festival. No, wait, let me join your farm. There might be times when the villagers can't see me, but I still be here looking out for them. I'll scare off any monsters who try to attack with a spine tingling. Woo! Thank you for letting me stay, Stitch. Now let's enjoy the festival. Woo! The ghost joins Stitch's team. Hmm. Stitch, Mal told me I should cease acting as a mere overseer and join you in your building work. Watching you and Rosie working together, seeing the things you built, a thought began to form in my mind. A dream is a wonderful thing to have, and there is little in this world more beautiful than to see one's dream become reality. And so, Stitch, I ask to join you. I want to be a builder. I want to go back to your island with you and build to my heart's content. Uh, but in order to do so, I must first speak with the children of Hargon, and I will need to enlist your aid once again. 
Ooh, oh, me a handsome. Just look at all these lovely fields you've made. You should be blime and proud of yourself. And it's not just these fields we have to thank you for. We can grow grass and trees too. For a wiggly like me, it's a dream come true. It feels like the old furrow field is busting up out of the ground. If only we had some flowers, then it would really would be just like the old days. But there'll be some time to, to but there'll be time to think about that later. We there won't there. Be handsome for now. Let's just be happy to see the die tree standing tall again. Yeah. Guessing that's everyone that's needs to be talking to. They just put it in any chest that they could freaking get to. <laughs> Everything's been harvested. Hooray! We finished collecting all the crops! The Harvest Festival is a resounding a success! And now we are done with everything we need to do. What do you say, Stitch? Shall we officially bring things to a close? Yes. Okay, let's ask Bonzo to put that beautiful voice of his to good use for the closing ceremony. Bonzo! 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 The people of Furrowfield sing and dance around the die tree, celebrating the powers of creation that have brought them so much happiness. Bonzo steps forth and enter uh, and enters everybody with a song of unparalleled beauty that echoes across the island and into the night. But amid the sea of smiling faces, a barley perceptible cloud of concern sits upon Pastor Al's brow. Then morning of uh, Alakazam. It's a ping. Pastor Alakazam, how dare you? Yep, what's that? A tree, fields, you've been building, haven't you? Well, my lord, please, if you would just allow me to explain. <laughs> I think not. But. But. Tell me, Alakazam. What do we do? What do we of the children of Hargon value above all else? Destruction, my lord. Destruction alone can save us. All must be destroyed. <laughs> yes, then your do do duty is clear. You must destroy this farm and everything in it. I I cannot. Gwahaha, <laughs> is that so? Then be gone! My lord? Ah! Uh, Pastor Al! Fucker. You kill him. <laughs> it seems you want to something done, you must do it yourself. No! The die tree! In the name of the High Priest Hargon, all shall be destroyed! <laughs> we are not warned for foolish humans. Builders spread desolation and despair wherever they roam. Go forth, my minions! Crush these pathetic humans! In the name of the Almighty Hargon. 
<laughs> Come on, boys. Let's smash some skulls. Buster Owl! No! Like that. No! Moment. Are any pink things? Hmm. Looks like the children of Hargon have us surrounded, Stitch. We've got no choice but to fight them. So, are you ready to take them down? Yes. Never felt this feeling before, Stitch. What they did to Al. What they did to the Die Tree. I won't let them get away with this. I'll destroy the lot of them. Yeah, it's called anger. Let battle commence. Defeat the enemy. the ones that put people to sleep first. Damn it, I became paralyzed because of the bow of the archers. Oh, nice. Like, insta kill the baboon, which is nice. Baboon went down. I mean, it's shiny blue butt. Crits ahoy. Come on. Give me all those lovely crits. Monsters defeated. Hey, level 10, max. Stitch and Mouse's level increases. <laughs> Maloth gets stronger and Stitch reaches level 10. His maximum HP has increased. <laughs> Victory. Haha, <laughs> 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 they didn't last long. It was hardly even a fair fight. But I don't get it. I just took out a small army of children of Hargon scumbags, but I still feel funny. Oh. Stitch, we should check on Pastor Al. <laughs> it seems this is it for me. No, please, Pastor Al, don't leave us. Don't worry, young Rosie. This is not the end. Not yet. The die tray me have been destroyed, but the hope that it brought you all still remains. Maroth, you asked me once where the die tree originally came from, whether it simply sprouted out of the ground, or if it was made by some other means. The first die tree did not grow, it was built by the builder who came to this island long ago. What? Stitch, young builder, I want you to have this. Hey, it's the flying cape. The windbreaker. 
Sword of the Skies and discover new secrets. With the Windbreaker, you can take to the skies. You may need it if you are to build another die tree from the ground up. You want us to build another die tree? But we can't do that all on our own. We need you, Pastor Al. Don't leave us. <laughs> Rosie, my dear apprentice, I have taught you all I know. Now it falls to you to aid Stitch. I know you can do this. But I... But I... I... Was this not your dream? To bring back the die tree? To rebuild Ferrofield's fall. Not, do not give up on your dreams. Do not seek excuses. Seek only a way forward. Stitch, look after Rosie for me. Look after everyone. It may have only been for one night, but I am happy I was able to become Builder. I forgot how much this game fucking just stabs you in the heart. Yee! That's true! No! The pastor was a great leader to us all. I only hope I could become as bold and inspiring a figure as he was. We should never have built nothing. If we ain't had planted that die tree, none of us would have happened. Let's go, Stitch. I'm going to clobber that Brini baboon so hard his mother would have recognized him. I'm going to get revenge for her pastor Al. Barath, wait. Pastor Al told us to rebuild the die tree. He said to build a new one from scratch. I know, but... There's something I want you two to go. All right then, Rosie. Where do you want us to go? Pastor Al once told me that the old die tree wasn't completely destroyed. It may have withered and died, but its remains are still around here somewhere. If you were to find it, you might be able to find some clue about how to build a new one. All right, then. Let's give it a shot. It's not like we have any other choice. I know you can do it, Stitch. If the builder who came here long ago could build a tree, then you can, too. If we want to, a new die tree, we're going to have to build it ourselves. Once we do, we can restore life and light to the whole island. The only problem is, is how are we going to find this old tree if none of us know where it is? I'm not sure, but something tells me that the Windbreaker Pastor Al gave you will help you get there. We're going to need some more information than that. Where exactly are we supposed to use it? Oh, are you are you not talking about what I think you're talking about, are you? If you're looking for an old die tree, I've got an idea where you should start to search. Let the mission begin! You press X when you're mid-air to deploy the Windbreaker and you'll glide around like a bird. Running from the children of Margon took me from one end of the island to the other, and now for everywhere else in between. I think I caught a glimpse of the old die tree on my travels. It wasn't actually on this island, though. It was on a little island just off the coast. Too far to swim, mind he saved, so wingless wonders like us can't get there. Ah, but if you could use the windbreaker, you could just fly over there. Ah, oh, you've been to Farfield Bog, haven't you? Stitch, and you met the orc in the old tomato farm, didn't you? If you walk to up to that farm and head east out to, into the rainforest, you'll see a patch, a path up to the north that leads you to the top of a rocky inland, and should be able to spot the island as the die tree on the way. Fly over there with the windbreaker of yours. Off the off, off you go then. You two fly to that island and find the old die tree and find out how to build a new one. New destination has been added to your map. All right. Pulling at your heartstrings. Hello again, human. I hope you're all right. The air is thick and the sky is dark these days. It's been a long time since I've seen all the ill wind get this bad. I wonder what could have behind it. I hope you two aren't going to tell me you're looking for the old die tree, are you? 
Well, if you are, it's east of here. Keep going until you reach the ocean, then turn left. There's a rocky headland that's almost like a stone staircase. At the top, you should find a signpost, and that's about the closest you'll ever get to the Daitri, unless you know how to fly, of course. Snort. There should be a fat rat at the base of the mountain. You should ask. You could ask him for help. I've heard he knows a lot about this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. At least they added a freaking dodge button. Get my way, you big annoyance. Climb these muddy stairs behind me all the way up to the top of the cliff. You'll just make out the remains of the old eye tree squeak. But all you'll be able to do is look. You'll never be able to fly to get closer. Of course, if you had a windbreaker, it'd be a different story. You could just jump off the cliff and then press X and wind up to the light over there. I tree bring hope to the land and hope that lies far over the horizon. There's a strange voice inside his head. Stitch, my child, come to me. Leap out from the cliff and unfold thy windbreaker with a single tap of X. This must be the headland wiggery he was talking about. It's right there. So how about a stitch? Shall we try using the windbreaker to fly over there? notes read the message I came to desire to watch over its pasture but the prop to properly guide my folk would require me to know everything about the island in which they live I traveled to every corner of the island gathering all the writings I could and learning there was to learn of its storied history no discussion of the island can be complete without mention of the die tree the hollowed f tree that could be blessed this island with mountainous plenty it seems this tree was not grown but built built by none other than the accursed builder who has escaped our clutches for so long. We of the children of Hargon cannot suffer one who poisons men's minds with the power of creation. This builder is a viewing of pure evil. And yet, I am given pause for thought. Even if it's much reduced state, the tree is still a towering presence that positively thrums with energy. And they say the builder created it from nothing? I must admit, this figure intrigues me. 
Out of sense here. There's a moldy old book entitled The New Dawn. Stitch takes a closer look. It seems to be a long written memoir. Do you want to read it? How many months, how many years has it been since I stumbled upon this new land? The inhabitants of the island call it Furrow Fields and spread their days foraging for food in the forest and on the shore. An acorn wrapped in kelp is judged as a delicacy. And yet, the soil so rich and fertile, I cannot stand idly by and see this island's true potential remain untapped. And so I built the Daitri, and opened the people's eyes to the wonders of creation. I will never forget the joy that they imminently felt when they harvested their first cabbages. Their faces lit up with never before. I pray that the love of the building will continue to thrive and flourish here. But I cannot stay. I must leave them under the protection of the Holy Tree and continue my journey. Bark. Time to kick some butt. Humans, what are you doing skulking around here? Looking for the original... Die tree are you? Well, you're too late. It was destroyed by the Brady Babu himself and all of his infinite wisdom. And that's not all. The primate turned your silly symbol of hope into the source of your suffering. Who makes the spoil spores, you ask? The diseased, decrepit die tree does. No way. So this is where the ill wind comes from. Hehehe. <laughs> this holy ground, humans, a place for the children of Hargon to offer their thanks to the high priest. And now that you've seen our secret, I'm afraid we can't let you live alive. All right, well, then you're going to die. Yep, you two are dead. Now you're dead. All left, you got the big bad broom. And insta kill the baboon. Monsters are defeated. <laughs> ah, children of Hargon, more like chumps of Hargon. Still, I can't believe they turned the dye entry to some kind of spore spreading filth fountain. Are they are are there any depths they won't stoop to? Huh? huh. What's that creepy looking light? Who art thou? Why dost thou approach me? I was once known as the Dai Tree. But alack, my branches hath rotten away, and my heart's filled with poison. Now the breeze that flow through my brain's not but destruction. I know I now know I know not who thou art, but thou cannot remain in this place. The danger is too great. Thou and thy friends seek to create a new die tree to rid this land of its corruption? Very well. Should thee be should this be thy wish, thou first wast need destroy me. The black rotten wood thou seek above thee was once my mighty trunk. Amidst, amid this withered husk, some small scraps of my holy heartwood yet remain. I bid thee take it and bring it to me. All right, let's go get the heartwood.
What's over there? That's poison. I didn't know there was actually poison on the island. Thou hast done well. Thou hast destroyed me. Within the holy heartwood, thou hast gathered Berneth what little remains of my life's force. Only now may I finally die. Thou, the fair island of Furrowfield, is set on a course of destruction. The ill wind that flowed from my corruption from hath spread far and wide. I fear that my destruction alone cannot bring an end to the evils that plague this land. But thou, my strength, through my strength, through the power that still dwelt within my heartwood, a new dry tree may be born. Hast thou the skill to accomplish this feat, young builder? Canst thou conceive of the form I once took, and the form I must need to take once more? There is something else that would do as well to recall, young builder. Creation is born of destruction. But more not, for nothing can be built from nothing. I await the day when thou wilt build a new die tree and return life and light to this fair island. Thou hast my deepest thanks for destroying me. Haha, you've done it already, haven't you, Stitch? We've designed a new die tree. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head back to the farm and get what that baby built. Him. Cool. Oh. We Super Saiyan jump. Stitch draws out the die tree level one blueprint. Blimey heck, is this what I think it is? Are you building us a new die tree? Stitch, do you really intend to build a new die tree from scratch? Do you have any idea of the scale of the task you plan to undertake? Hmm, 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 hee, hee, Brilliant, my boy, simply brilliant. You plan to build a tree from a blueprint. The very thought of it, I have never heard of a more ridiculous idea in my all my life. And yet this foolishness, nay, this foolhardiness has reunited the fire passion within my heart. <laughs> Everyone, let's give this one more try. Let's build a new die tree and make Furrowfield Farm flourish again. Rosie's right. We re we rebuilt the farm once, and it all went up in smoke. But the dream ain't over yet. Yeah, and with Stitch here, I bet the whole thing will be a piece of cake. We'll have a new die tree like in like no time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll make you proud, Pastor Al. Just you watch. All <laughs> right, everyone. Let's build for a field a new die tree. Hurrah! <laughs> if I remember correctly. And just look at the grub big blueprint. This new tree is going to be a real beauty. That seals it. My days as a traveling wiggly are over. I'll be staying here to help you out and see this die tree building business through to the end. That's it. That's if it was an end. Forgive me, Stitch, but I cannot help but think that this blueprint isn't quite finished. Wait, I think I understand. This isn't the whole die tree. It's just the bottom bit. And you split it up into three sections, right? 
What an excellent idea. Three small projects will be much easier to handle than one huge one. You know, Stitch, I learned a lot from Pastor Al, but there's one thing we never taught me. He said there was a way to bestow the, uh, the die tree with every even more power, but he never got around to telling me what it was. I'll have to go over my no all my notes from my time under this tutelage. If I find anything out, I'll tell you right away. Cool. Alright, well, we are going to haul this week's episodes right here, guys. Stay tuned for next week's episodes of Dragon Quest Builders 2.